Hello everybody, I am David, and today I'm going to be talking about The Flash, Season 3, Episode 18, Abra Kadabra, and we got a new villain from the future that has come to piss off Team Flash, and uh, this one's connected to Gypsy because, let's start off with Gypsy, so uh, Gypsy, she's coming after this guy from Earth-19 because she's crossed paths with him before and this episode had a lot of teasing going on back and forth and every time they were getting close to giving us an answer to something they always pulled back even until the very end of the episode which kind of annoyed me a little bit throughout this entire episode so basically we were gonna get answers but then they don't get of us nothing except the whole gypsy situation which we find out that abracadabra killed someone she was very close to maybe even had a relationship with which i thought cisco was gonna get jealous of but thankfully he took it like a man and was like very understanding uh to the whole situation so i actually like the gypsy cisco uh relationship a lot there i was thinking to myself they should just make her regular next season uh two you know uh vibing uh heroes in the show i think that would be pretty sweet and i think cisco needs a long-term girlfriend finally i think why not they have good chemistry together uh they they play off each other really nicely i say bring her off or give them give cisco and uh gypsy their own spin-off uh, that could be the friday night show i don't care um i'd watch it uh yeah so there's that and then we got Abracadabra, who was the villain of this week. By the way, the actor who played Abracadabra, a little fun trivia for you guys. Um, he, the actor who played him, David, I, I forgot what his last name is. Um, it's hard to pronounce. Uh, he was also in The Dark Knight as one of the Joker's goons, the one that Batman later takes to the dark alley after trying to shoot Harvey Dent or the mayor. And uh, they shoot Commissioner Gordon instead. Um, He was the one that Batman was... Or no, Harvey Dent was uh, interrogating in the alleyway. And Harvey was about to flip a coin, but then Batman stopped him. That was him in The Dark Knight. And then in Ant-Man, he was uh, one of the three guys... uh, One of the two guys with Michael Pena, Pena's character in Ant-Man... And then um, in Gotham recently, he he guest starred in like two or three episodes as the guy who brought the Joker or Jerome back to life. So I thought that was really uh, cool to see him in here. I think he's a really good actor. He's starting to become that actor for me where I go, oh, it's that guy again. Because uh, <laughs> I always recognize he has that face. He he was the guy that always looked like Cillian Murphy to me in the in the Dark Knight. Uh, one of the three people that look like him. Uh, so anyways, back on track with this episode. Yeah, I thought he was really cool as the villain. I thought he was a, an interesting threat right away. Uh, clearly, he has magic, which is really just advanced technology. So in other words, uh, I guess they didn't want to take the phrase from Thor that science is just something uh, we don't understand. So it's advanced technology so we think of it as magic um which i thought was really cool um i i kind of wish they would have let him go though uh so that way maybe we would have seen him in legends of tomorrow but i guess there's always a chance right yeah sure gypsy's bringing him off uh back into the to earth 19 to get his head cut off but maybe he'll escape who knows Uh, But that was one of the things that I thought was kind of irritating to me when he they were teasing that, you know, he had the the, he knew who Savitar was. He knew all this stuff about Barry and so forth uh, that I thought he was really going to say Savitar's name by the end of it. I was even rolling my eyes a couple of times. Come on, just say it. We know you're going to say it at the end. And then he doesn't say it at the end. And it was kind of like irritating to me because I was like kind of hoping for it and kind of disappointed that we didn't get anything about Savitar. I even thought at one point maybe they're going to reveal it at the at the very end of the episode like they usually do. But no, we didn't even get that, which was kind of irritating. 
uh, to me. So we still don't know who Avatar, uh, Savitar's name really is. We don't know what he really looks like. But I do have a few theory. I have a new theory on who it could be. Um, but first, before I get to that, I do want to talk about a couple of names he dropped. He he kind of said that Barry has a lot of enemies from the future, and he name dropped Eobarthon. He name dropped Zoom, and there was another name that he dropped. I I think it was Defoe. Uh, so I kind of like the foe who's or it was a name that I didn't recognize. I know that uh, I don't remember exactly if it was Defoe, like William Defoe. I kept thinking to myself, is William Defoe is going to be a villain to the Flash one day? Uh, I could see that. Um, <laughs> I just I, I just thought it was interesting. I have to go back and watch that episode to make sure what that name really was. But I'm pretty sure it was a name we never heard of before. Which could be a nice little setup for maybe the next season. Maybe we'll see who this villain is next season. Comment below, guys, and tell me uh, what that name was. And if it is a character from the comics, um, let me know on that. Uh, you know, my comic book knowledge isn't the best um, for a lot of these superhero shows and movies. Uh, so it's always nice when some people fill me in on some nice little trivia. Uh but I am interested on in finding out if that was a character we've seen already, which I'm pretty sure it wasn't, or did I hear things right and it was a name we haven't, a character we haven't seen yet. So I'm very interested in knowing that. Uh, with that being said, we also had Caitlin and uh, uh, what's his name, Julian's relationship blossoming again. Uh, they they kind of had a little falling out a little bit. Not really, but yeah, you know. And uh, they kind of made up at the end of the episode, you know. Julian had to help Caitlyn uh, take out that thing out of her. She didn't want to take out the necklace because she didn't want to turn into Killer Frost. Even though we knew it was kind of, especially after this whole episode, I kind of figured she's going to be turning into Killer Frost one day. I don't know when. I don't know how. Well, it looks like... Today is how, and today is when. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, funny enough, Harrison Wells, or HR, shows up at the end of the episode. And this is where my theory on Savitar comes in. I think HR is Savitar. Uh, that was too coincidental that he came in there. He went up to Caitlyn and like hugged her or something. I don't remember what right now. Uh, but he went up to her. Who knows what he could have done to her? I think this will be explained in an upcoming episode on what he did. Uh, and I think he's going to be revealed to be the... I I think HR is Savitar. Um, how? I think he's a speedster. Uh, I could be totally wrong on this. But, uh, you know, we've seen speedsters be in two places at the same time before. And he, if he is the fastest speedster yet, especially villain-wise, um, I think it, it is possible he could be HR for sure. Um, I don't know, guys. Tell me what you think on that. Tell me if you agree with me. Does it seem possible? It just seemed weird how he just popped in at the very end of the episode and then she, after he hugged Caitlyn uh she starts dying and now she's killer frost i think that's why i'm starting to think maybe he is maybe hr is savitar um and they're going to reveal it next week if that is the case maybe i'm wrong maybe savitar is some guy named tom we haven't met him before i don't know that would be cool if Savitar turned out to be Tom Holland. Uh, with that being said, guys, I think that's it. I'm wrapping this up. Oh, no, I can't wrap it up. You know why? Because Barry said something at the end of the episode that I really liked. He said, how do we beat Savitar at his own game? Or how do we beat all these villains from the future at their own game? Oh, I got an idea. I'm going to go into the future to see how to beat them. 
Bingo, the finally berry. You're using your brain. I love that. I love that about you. So now that I wrap that up, um, now that I said that, now I can wrap things up. So like this video, guys, if you agree with me. Comment below and leave your thoughts on this episode. Um, and uh, until next time, guys, I think that's it. Until next week. Oh, next week, Legends is taking Flash's place. So it will be the week after. So until then... Take care.